Hey viewers, today we will be taking a look at how the nuclear fission reaction in nuclear power plants is controlled. A nuclear reactor uses uranium-235 to generate energy. In order to do so, it has a number of rods, called fuel rods, that contain a mixture of uranium-235 and 238. Between the rods, a number of barriers is positioned, normally made of silver, indium or cadmium which absorbs any incoming neutrons, making sure the neutrons from one rod don't reach the other ones. These barriers, called control rods, can be raised or lowered to allow a certain amount of neutrons to travel between rods, intensifying the fusion reaction. The more of the fewer rods, or core, is exposed, the more neutrons can freely travel between the rods and the more intense the fusion reaction becomes. A more intense fusion reaction means more energy, but it also means more risk. This is why all fusion reactors have a very fast shutdown time, typically 1 to 2 seconds, which quickly puts the control rods in full block mode. This way, if something goes wrong, the reaction can be stopped immediately. Another possibility is to use reflectors. Instead of controlling the amount of neutrons between the rods using absorption, the neutrons are reflected back to the rod they came from. The amount of reflected neutrons can be controlled and with it the intensity of the fusion reaction. This principle is the exact opposite of the first one. Instead of controlling how many neutrons shouldn't reach their destination, you control the amount of neutrons that should reach their destination. The result is the same though. In both cases, the amount of neutrons that are injected into the uranium is controlled and therefore the fusion reaction is controlled. I hope you learned something today. And I'll see you next time.